Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Pace Studio, live from Midtown Manhattan, New York City. Today we have Ezzy with us. Hi. Who has, <laughs> hi. Who has a brand new EP out today, January 12th, called Afraid of the Dark. Uh, we're really excited to hear three songs from the EP. Uh, so do you want to tell us a bit about the first song you're going to play? Um, yeah, so the first song is called Redemption. It's actually the first song that I wrote um, throughout my process, realizing that that was like the first song that felt right for my project. Um, basically, the whole EP was inspired by a period of depression that I had one summer, and I never wrote about that in my songwriting, and this was the first song that I did that with, and it's really about like how when you're a sensitive person, you never really get a break from yourself. Um, so yeah. <coughs> Damn, I haven't washed my hair for days And I, the day I'm feeling lost Lock myself and now I lie awake Can't erase the pain you've caused It's delicate, it's how I'm These moments to create Guess I'm an emotional wreck now Feeling all the letdown Sometimes I wish I could escape I guess it's just what I got No redemption for a week I When it break you take it to be what I might I guess it's just what I got oh, 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 oh. If I could rewind to yesterday Eliminate you and restart it all Stood in between these walls I hide away Delicate, it's how I made. Oh, 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 I use these moments to create. Oh, guess I'm an emotional wreck now. Feeling other let down. Sometimes I wish I could escape. I guess it's just what I got. i 
Great. Your voice you. is beautiful. Aww, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so a cool thing about this EP, Afraid of the Dark, is that you are signed to Steve Madden's new mm -hmm. label, Five Towns Records, uh, which is really cool and a little weird. So I guess the question that everyone probably wants to know is, do you get free shoes? I do. I, but it's not like it's not like I just ask for shoes. Like if I have a shoot or something right, where I you know right want to wear the shoes i'll pull some i shoes don't know if them. everyone can see how much of the camera gets those cool rainbow platforms you have but and these are steve madden yeah awesome <laughs> yeah um, and how did that come to be did he personally um, reach out and ask you to be on the label it's probably like one of the craziest stories of my life um so i at this point at the point so i actually met steve madden completely randomly and at that point, I had been working on my EP. I was like six months into, because um, I was songwriting before, like for years, um, but I wasn't working on an artist project. And I was six months into that. And I went to a Steve Madden store, the one in Soho um, on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And um, I was trying on a pair of sneakers that like I couldn't afford. <laughs> and I heard a voice that said, um, those shoes look great on you. And at first I was like, it's kind of weird it was like a man's voice and I was like what um and then I look up and it's actually Steve Madden and I knew that because I'd met him like super briefly once at one of his concerts one of like his Steve Madden music curated shows and I was like oh my god you're Steve Madden and um I was told him about how like when I met him and I told him that I was an artist and he was like oh well I'm starting a label and I was like cool he's like send me some songs he gave me his email like his personal email wow. and it like at in like at the time I was thinking about like how like you know those episodes of TV shows where they have like a celebrity guest star right and they like and suddenly like that celebrity guest star like offers like this crazy insight and like that's the arc of the show like I felt like that I was like what is happening right now it was a very random experience and then actually when I went when I left I called my manager I was like the craziest thing just happened and he was like wow that's really crazy because his music guy his partner was actually in our office today and we reconnected for the first time in years wow. so it all happened on the same day and then I got signed a, like a little less than a year ago yeah that yeah. sounds like it's from a movie or something like not a yeah, real story like, <laughs> like you know a lot of musicians have crazy stories and I usually hear them and I'm like that's so not true and then and, it happened to you and, <laughs> but saying this out loud it definitely doesn't seem like something that's true but at the same time like you know, I was also prepared and I had the music ready and yeah. Yeah. Meeting of many great things at once. Probably. Yeah. 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 I cool. Think so. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the second song you're about to play. The second song is called Anxious. It actually just came out today. The other song I released is my first single, um, but this one is completely brand new. Um, I wrote this when I was at a session and we were doing all these different ideas and I like felt like I was having a panic attack like I struggle with anxiety um a lot and depression and it's something that I talk about a lot in my music and um I mean it's pretty self-explanatory it's really about like what it feels like to go to be a person who struggles with anxiety which I think that so many people especially today can relate to um so yeah the song's called Anxious Some kind of reason Can't feel anything Outside myself <clears throat> My ego Is shrinking They think that they know what I'm thinking I don't think I need that Kind of help I'm so, I'm so, I'm so Why? Am I overthinking, trying not to overthink this? I do my best to fight it. Why am I overthinking? 
thinking, trying not to overthink this. I do my best to fight it. I'm so anxious. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. I'm so anxious. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. The choir in my brain is so fucking debilitating. A thousand voices, different keys. So I try to diffuse it and put on some positive music, but it don't work when I can't relate. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. Why am I overthinking? Trying not to overthink this. I do my best to fight it. Why am I overthinking? Trying not to overthink this. I do my best to fight it. I'm so anxious. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. I'm so anxious. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. Cause at the end of the day, I'm just afraid I'm a heartbreak away. And all the prescriptions and pads and addictions we have. They can't keep us sane, so I keep lying to myself to make it better, to make it better. And I pretend I'm someone else. It makes it better. Why am I overthinking? Trying not to overthink this. I do my best to fight it. I'm so, I'm so. Why am I overthinking? Trying not to overthink this. I do my best to fight it. I'm so, I'm so. Why am I overthinking? Trying not to overthink this. I do my best to fight it. I'm so anxious. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. I'm so anxious. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. Yay! Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> So you've talked a lot about how depression and anxiety influenced the making of this EP. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, because that's such a kind of brave and rare thing for people to talk about, do you have any role models or other artists that influenced the writing or, uh, you know, that have been similarly open about those kinds of struggles? Um, I actually don't know. Like, I'm, that's not really, there hasn't, there wasn't like an artist that I saw do that, that I like identified with I just honestly this is everyone sort of goes through phases I think in chapters in their life and like that was like the main thing that inspired my art like for that period of time I don't think that I'm gonna write about that forever I think it's definitely a theme that I am always gonna feel um but yeah I don't really know any artists that do that but I think it's cool that um I've seen Lady Gaga do it actually a lot, and I think that's yeah. pretty amazing. You know what? Maybe she actually did inspire me a little bit because I watched a speech that she gave at um, a university, and it was about like just being open and vulnerable with people and how important that is for us to not feel alone and for us to like feel more connected to each other, especially at a time when we're so like connected but in like a very impersonal way. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I saw her do that, but it's definitely, it's just something that I feel like I need to talk about now. Um, yeah. Yeah, super relatable. Um, so let's hear about <clears throat> the third song you're about to play. The third song is like my most fun song. Um, 
It's called Dancing in a Room. It was inspired by, um, <clears throat> I was out one night with some friends and I was like, it, it was all throughout this summer and I was feeling like so, sh I don't know if I can curse. Um, uh, sure. I can? <laughs> it's live, so no one's going <laughs> to stop us. I was feeling so <laughs> shitty. Um, and, um, and like this, for the first time I felt so free in like, um, with my friends and I felt so good and I realized that like I feel the most free and empowered when I feel like I'm dancing alone and um yeah when I got to the studio that was like the first thing that came out of my mouth that like first little melody so I wrote a song about it I'm alive and the Fills my body, I'm fearless Cause I know what it costs And I know I don't need it My eyes are closing and yours are open I know you know this, know this me I might be broken but it's not showing it's how I'm going, going So I just dance in the middle of the room by myself I'm alright, I'm alright, doing well Dance to the rhythm in a room by myself I'm alright, doing fine, can't you tell? I don't need you, need you When you walk through the door I pretend not to see it Put my heart on the floor But I keep it a secret My eyes are closing and yours are open I know you know this, know this me I might be broken, but it's not showing. It's how I'm coping, coping. So I just dance in the middle of the room by myself. I'm alright, I'm alright, doing well. Dance to the rhythm in a room by myself. I'm alright, doing fine, can you tell? I did you need you need you need you Did you need you need you need you I don't Did you need you need you need you I'm all right do in fact can you tell You have me song sounds so great Thank and you. all these songs are on your ep out today january 12th afraid of the dark available now everywhere yeah. um, and ezzy thank you for being here thank you so much uh, for if you want to find out more information about ezzy you can go to her instagram at easy eye and uh, pick up afraid of the dark and please come back and visit us anytime thank you thanks for having me guys thanks for everyone who's on the stream <laughs>